Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. In today's video, we will discuss what is the compound gear train and how to calculate the gear ratio for the compound gear train. Next, we learn what is the compound gear train. The first point is that compound gear trains consist of more than one gear on a single axis. Therefore, the gear on the same shaft rotates at the same speed and torque. For the second point, please refer to the image which shows a total of four gears connected across three shafts labeled as A, B, and C. The third point, please refer to the image. Gears 2 and 3 are on a single axis or shaft. Consequently, gears 2 and 3 on the same shaft, shaft B, rotate at the same speed and torque. Next, we understand how to calculate the gear ratio for a compound gear train and understand the formula for a compound gear train. The formula of the gear ratio for compound gear train. Gear ratio is equals to T2 divided by T1 obtained value multiplied by T4 divided by T3. Where, T1 number of teeth on driver gear. Next, T2 number of teeth on the first compound gear. Next. T3 number of teeth on the second compound gear. Next, T4 number of teeth on driven gear. Please refer to the image for the compound gear train consisting of driving gear 1, compound gear 2 and 3, and driving gear 4. Next, we learn how to calculate the gear ratio for the compound gear train. Let's see an example. Calculate the gear ratio for the compound gear train if the number of teeth on the driver and driven gear are 80 and 20, with one compound gear. The compound gear has a total of two gears. The first compound gear connected to the driver has 60 teeth, and the second compound gear connected to the output has 40 teeth. Given data, the first parameter, number of teeth on driver gear, T1, equals 80. The second parameter, the number of teeth on the first compound gear, T2, equals 60. The third parameter, the number of teeth on the second compound gear, T3, equals 40. The fourth parameter, the number of teeth on driven gear, T4, equals 20. In the above example, gears 2 and 3 are on the same shaft. Please refer to the image for better understanding. Next. We learn the gear ratio calculation for compound gear train. The gear ratio is equals to T2 divided by T1 obtained value multiplied by T4 divided by T3. First, we will calculate the gear ratio between the driver gear, gear 1, and first compound gear, gear 2. Gear ratio for gear 1 and 2 is equals to T2 divided by T1. Gear ratio for gear 1 and 2 is equals to number of teeth on the first compound gear is divided by number of teeth on driver gear. Gear ratio for gear 1 and 2 is equals to T2 divided by T1. We apply the given data. We will get the gear ratio for gears 1 and 2. Gear ratio for gear 1 and 2 is equals 60 divided by 80. Therefore, the gear ratio for gears 1 and 2 is equals 0.75. The gear ratio between the driver gear, gear 1, and the first compound gear, gear 2, is 0.75. Next. We will calculate the gear ratio between the second compound gear, gear 3, and driven gear, gear 4. The gear ratio for gear 3 and 4 is equals to T4 divided by T3. The gear ratio for gear 3 and 4 is equals to number of teeth on driver gear is divided by number of teeth on second compound gear. Gear ratio gear 3 and 4 is equals to T4 divided by T3. We apply the given data. We will get the gear ratio for gears 3 and 4. 
The gear ratio is equals to 20 divided by 40. Gear ratio, gear 3 and 4, is equals to 0.5. Therefore, the gear ratio between the second compound gear, gear 3, and driven gear, gear 4, is 0.5. Next, we will calculate the gear ratio between the driver gear, gear 1, and the driven gear, gear 4. Multiplying gear ratios 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, we get the gear ratio of the driver gear and driven gear. Gear ratio, gear 1 and 4, is equals to T2 divided by T1 obtained value multiplied by T4 divided by T3. We will get the gear ratio for gear 1 and 4, apply the above obtained values. The gear ratio, gear 1 and 4, is equals to 0.75 multiplied by 0.5. The gear ratio for compound gear train, gear 1 and 4, is equals 0.375. We hope this video has helped you understand the compound gear train. And how to calculate the gear ratio for the compound gear train. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.